Hi hey guys. I will get this video out today. Oh. I'm not being distracted by telephones and things. <laughs> um. Right. So today I have been pretty productive in regards to computers. Um, Mum's laptop has just been refurbished with a full fresh install of Windows XP. I did try Windows 7, but there just wasn't any drivers out there for um, for this la laptop for um, Windows 7, so it had to go back to Windows XP. Um, but it is working, like I said, fresh install, so everything else is fresh install. In fact, I'll shut this down now. Um, what else? This one I picked up from the kitchen, and the 160 gigabyte hard drive that didn't want to work with the um, other board, with that board, that was in my old Windows 7 case, or what was my Windows 7 case, um, I threw into uh, this case and installed Windows XP on it first time. With no glitches, no blue screens, no nothing. So what I did this morning, because I did that last night, I um, took all the motherboard, the power supply, and of course the hard drive out of this one, put it into what was my Windows 7 case, which is now in the bedroom, threw in the um, video card I chose, which was a GeForce 6200, which is perfectly adequate for what I want to use it for. It's got a, gig a um, one and a half gigs of RAM, DDR SD RAM that is. The graphics card's got uh, 256 megabytes of DDR SD RAM on board. Perfectly adequate for what I want. Um, just thinking. Um, what else did I put on? Installed all the board drivers, so it's now sitting in the bedroom. Haven't got it set up, it's just sitting on the bed. Um, but the reason I decided to use that, because I've put. Um, all the Windows 7 guts from my old Windows 7 case went into this one. The motherboard, the power supply, the hard drive, everything went into here. And the reason I did it that way, instead of just bolting the 160 gig hard drive into this one, is because this has only got room for one hard drive, and I wanted to put two. So I wanted to make sure I had plenty hard drive room. Um, to install the uh, games on because uh, I want to install oh, it's bloody cold in I want to install several games at the same time and I, I could probably install all of those actually two 160 gigabyte drives on that machine so yeah I probably could no. Ooh, pardon me um, some games will be played on other machines, but the ones I want to play on that one, I think I've got plenty room. I've got plenty of specs. 2.10 gigahertz processor, AMD. That is actually the only Windows XP uh, desktop computer I've got that has an AMD processor. Um, Dell have always used Intel, so that's got Intel, and that one's got Intel. I can't remember with the advent, actually, to be honest. But of course, there's another Dell there, that's Intel, that's Intel. Um, the Vio there, that's Intel, I believe. 
No, and even that one. No, that one's AMD. My main PC is an AMD. That one's Intel, dual core. That's a quad core on my main one. So yeah. Um. Turn this one off now because I'm. Um. Don't turn this one on in a conventional way either. <laughs> um. And I found something else out as well, but we'll get to that in a minute. This power button doesn't actually work. I haven't got it connected at the moment because um, I substituted the reset switch as the uh, main power button. But with this one, you've got to poke something in the hole there <laughs> to hit the reset switch. Um, I think it's a loose solder joint or something on the main switch because it was... It was in admit, intermittent at one point, and now it's stopped altogether. So maybe one day I'll take this front panel off again, and uh, may even do that tomorrow, because I was going to Mum's, but that's all changed now. But uh, that doesn't matter. Gives me a chance to um, take these covers off and see if I can fix the main power switch. But the other thing I noticed when I took this cover off, um, there was two extra USB ports. I thought there was only two on the front of this, but there's four. Um, and the other two were taped up, and so was the firewire. I haven't got the firewire connected, because I don't use it anyway. Um, but the original motherboard that was in this only had the one USB header, so that's probably, probably why the other two were taped up. So I don't think that was the original motherboard. But then again, this is was a bet this is an Asus Barebones case anyway. So I'm guessing whoever built this computer, because obviously they bought all the parts and built it themselves, um, taped off the USB ports they didn't use. They're in use now, that's why I've got them untaped. I keep odd cables like that so I could plug the cable into the front panel and on the board, because this has um, three USB headers, uh, which is handy, because I took the floppy disk drive out and put that in. It's a more modern PC, and I thought that would just look better filling the hole than the um, floppy disk drive. So I stuck that in there. <laughs> no, it's, it's one of those jobs that only took like two minutes to fit it, if that. Um, that's on my list to do soon, I hope. Um, I need to get the fan, and I need a CD drive to, that goes in here. Oddly enough, laptop CD drives don't have the correct header. So <laughs> I'm going to have to try and locate one for this. I'm sure if I look on eBay hard enough, I'll find one. Um, so yeah, just the fan mat and sling a hard drive in here and we're good to go. Good to go for this. Um, can't remember what the max RAM is. I think it's 4 gigs, but I will have to Google this machine. It's an Optiplex 745. I don't know why, but when I got all those computers from um, my guy, he um, has a lot of Dell machines. I mean, I did actually scrap several of them. There was just so many. Um, well, I've still got so many. Actually, those Optiplexes there, they came in the second wave of computer bits I got from him. But I had several of these cases. I think that's my... What have I got? One, two, three, four still. Five. I've got that one under there, and I've got a non-working case behind the monitor up there. <laughs> uh, yeah, one, two, three. No, sorry, it is four. Yeah. Yeah, four. Uh, I think I must have scrapped four or five of them as well. No, actually. 
three or four, I should say. Um, not all the same model. They all look the same, but they're not all the same model. Uh, I think that's the 1100, if I remember correctly. Yep. That's the 4600, and that's the 2400, and I can't remember at all what that one is up there. Yeah, the cases, they're all identical. There's no difference in the case. Um, on the 4600, I think the rear panel layout, the interface panel is um, different. The layout is different, if I remember correctly. I think that's the only difference, really. I haven't really seen any other difference. But, uh, that doesn't matter. They all work. Need to find kettle leaves. Uh, I need one, two, three, four. I need one for up there as well. Uh, is that just four? And I could do with actually a couple of spares as well for when I'm playing with computers in the bedroom. In the bedroom. In the lounge. Well, actually, I could play with them in it. <laughs> Either in the lounge or the kitchen is what I meant. Uh, you see anything good outside? <laughs> so, yeah, a bit of busy chappy. Sorted out both the desktops I wanted to sort out. Ideally, I'd like to have left that as the Windows 7 machine, but like I said, I couldn't get two hard drives in the other one. That's a project. I just want to get that up and running as a working machine. Um, I could actually take the motherboard out of that because there is room below, well, it did have the um, card reader in it, which I put in the other one, but there is room under there to put a hard drive, so I could put at least one in there uh, with a card reader or a floppy disk drive. If I actually use one of my other um, crappy XP boards I've got up here, I could um, just make a dinky little XP machine, but I would have to be completely bored to do that, because I've got plenty of Windows XP machines as it is. I've actually got one, two, three, four, five XP desktops. A joke. Ooh, I know what I could do. Oh, that's right. I just think I could build a Windows 98 desktop because I don't have one. I've got Windows 2000, Windows Millennium, but not Windows 98. Or Windows 95, that would be nice to get one of those. Uh, but I've got that little white case also behind that monitor. Um, but I haven't got a power supply for it. The original power supply failed on me. Um, so unless I can sort of modify one I've got to fit, because it is a small case and that takes a really small power supply, not the standard size. Uh, but I've got motherboard. But apparently it was designed for Windows XP. I beg to differ on that, but... That was E-Machine's idea of being designed for Windows XP. And gaming. 128 megabytes of RAM, gaming. I barely run bloody Windows XP now. <laughs> anyway. I think it will run Windows 98. So I could try that one day. I uh, don't have any laptops, so I may actually give up with a Toshiba down there. Um, all it needs is a keyboard and putting back together. Keyboard, the hard drive putting in it, memory card door putting back on it. I do have everything for it. But uh, I just don't know if I want to be bored. I could actually get it working as it is, because I could always plug in a USB keyboard or a PS2 keyboard, whatever. 
just to get it working and usable. Um, I did try and locate a keyboard at a later date. And that reminds me, I still need one for the Alienware, don't I? But they're not important things at the moment because that works. Oh, that's what I want to get out. So I can't remember what I needed for the big Dell down here, so you just bear with me for a sec while I try and lift that out of the corner. Bloody matchbox cars have got a life of their own. Oh my neighbour, a big apology. <laughs> Oops. Should we have a quick look in here? I know I needed the um, green rails to install the hard drives and whatnot. See, I just need the hard drive installed. Uh, I think this has already got a floppy disk in there. Yes. There you go. I've got memory in here. I think this is a DDR2 machine. Ooh, 512 megs. So what did I do? Oh, I stick a gigabyte of DDR2 on here. Unlike these ones, this one's actually got more room for some upgrades. Yeah, I just need to put the uh, the uh, hard drive in there. Oh God, I could probably get this working tonight. As long as I don't drop the fucking thing on the floor again. Just go whinge, you may even complain of victory for that one, but that was a big oops on my part. Do we have SATA power connectors? We do. Hmm. Stick the RAM in, go stick a hard drive in here, and I'm, I may be able to make a working PC. Make sure that's going to stay clipped in there. Uh, yeah. That was it. I've got um, screws missing, haven't I? Uh, that's what's doing that. <laughs> I don't think. No. The rail, you see, won't line up with the holes because it's the wrong one. That was it. Uh, so I ain't got a clue how I'm going to keep that there. hard drive as well. Yeah, good to go for the hard drive. I might do that before I go to bed. Possibly, maybe. At least get it installed in here. So I'm going to put this memory back in. Hopefully. Where's the notch? I think. 
think it's this way up. So, find the way it's got to go. Put the gigabyte of memory in. I knew I had some 512 megabyte DDR2 somewhere. Oh. The only problem is with these Dell machines, because of the way they make their cases, they're friggin' heavy. Do we have onboard graphics? We do. Well, that's good. And being a Dell, I know damn well I can go and get the drivers for it. Easy peasy. Heck, I've found drivers for Dell computers a lot older than this. In fact, I've got a Windows 98 laptop, which is a Dell, which I found drivers for. I found the drivers on the Dell website for all of these, which I may actually go through again. Because um, usually I delete them when I'm done with them, but uh, the only problem with that is if the machines fail, I'm going to have to download them again, and one day they may not be online, so I'm going to start making folders with the drivers in for all the machines I use that I can find drivers for anyway. Uh, so, I don't think there's anything else I want to chat about. Everyone's buggered off and left me online. <laughs> So that is it for this video. That's what I've been up to today. Might get into two. Uh, try again. I may get into some more um, computer stuff tomorrow, uh, or I might not. I may even do some Lego stuff actually. So I want to get that bench cleared, so I can actually do some Lego stuff get some Lego videos up, because I'm way behind on the Lego channel. Need to get that done. Don't even think about it. Oh! <laughs> oh, cheers, you jump up, stick your claws in, then jump straight off. Asshole. Right, what? Shut mum's, uh... Shut Mum's laptop down. I can put the cover back in this little Dell, and that can go back in the bedroom. I'll stand this window seven in there for the night as well. And uh, yeah, I think I'll try try and get that Dell at least fired up for the night, or tonight, I should say. What did I put? Oh, for a second there, I forgot where the XP disc was, but. I put it back, so... Drop those in there. Yeah. So... If you liked the video, don't forget to like it, and don't forget to subscribe if you want to. And, uh... I'll talk to you again tomorrow, I guess. Bye!